What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this relatively quick guide, I'll show you how to fix the secure boot error you could be getting when you're trying to start up Battlefield 6. So Battlefield 6 obviously requires some better parts and it needs things like secure boot and TPM to use Battlefield's newer kernel level anti-cheat. It's a lot of effort, especially for those who've never played with things like this before, but it's really not that intimidating. So prepare yourselves, let's get into it. There's a couple of things that we need to check before we can actually enable secure boot. And first of all, if you can already reach the main menu of Battlefield, 6, things are working fine. If you can't and you're getting a secure boot error, let's start off at the very top and find out what your system supports. Hit start, type MS info or system information, open this up and inside of here, you should find secure boot state. If this already says on, then congratulations, it's turned on and you should be able to play. If this says off, we'll just need to enable secure boot using one simple BIOS setting. You can skip forward to this time on screen if your secure boot state is off. If it's something like unsupported, then this something else that we need to check as well, and that is the BIOS mode up here. If your BIOS mode is legacy or anything other than UEFI, you're unlikely going to be able to enable secure boot. If yours says UEFI, then again, you can skip forward to this time to enable secure boot. If yours says anything other than UEFI, we need to check one more thing. Hit start and type in partition. We'll be opening create and format hard disk partitions. Inside of this new window that pops up, simply locate your C drive where Windows is installed. If you click in it, in the bottom half here, it'll jump to and highlight C drive. And for me, it's on disk zero. Right click disk zero and then choose properties. Inside of this new pop-up, head across to the volumes tab and make sure that partition style says GPT. If yours says MBR, there's a couple of commands that we need to run. If yours says GPT, we can safely skip ahead to this time once more to enable secure boot. To convert your drive from MBR, master boot record, to GPT, the newer better way, all you need to do is open up your start menu, type in CMD and click run as administrator. Then inside of this new window that pops up, when it pops up, you can type in the following commands as down below. First of all, MBR to GPT space slash validate space slash allow full OS. When you run this command, it'll check to see if your drive is compatible to change to GPT, things like that. If you see any errors here, you probably won't be able to continue. If yours looks fine, something similar to this, you can copy and paste the next command down below, which is MBR to GPT slash convert slash allow full OS. When you hit enter, this will convert your MBR drive to GPT mode. This could take quite a bit of time. Obviously, mine's already GPT, so nothing needs to be done here. Once this is successful, you can close it. And now all we need to do is reboot to our motherboard's BIOS where we can change settings. In order to do so, hold Start or the Windows key and press R to bring up this run dialog here. The easiest way to get to your motherboard's BIOS or configuration is to type in the command shutdown space forward slash R space forward slash FW, which means restart and restart to firmware, which is the motherboard's BIOS screen. When you hit OK, your PC will instantly turn off or very shortly turn off and it should reboot straight to your motherboard's BIOS or configuration page. If it doesn't, or you want to just restart your PC into BIOS normally, what you need to do is tell your PC to restart. And then while it's starting up, when you see your motherboard's logo, it'll tell you to press F2, F12, F10, delete, escape, something like that to enter your configuration screen. Press that button while you see the screen and then you should be inside of your motherboard's BIOS settings. Now, obviously, this will be extremely different for any manufacturer and, of course, even between different boards, versions, etc. You can either Google your motherboard's manufacturer and, of course, the version number or model number to find out how to enable Secure Boot. But alternatively, you'll also find this page linked down below on EA's support page where they speak about enabling Secure Boot. First of all, the check that we've already done and the GPT MBR check. Then it tells us to enable Secure Boot, including TPM down here. You'll find a long list of manufacturers here and expanding one of them, you'll get some info on support, Secure Boot, as well as anything else that might be required in order to actually enable Secure Boot. This page is very useful and you'll find it linked down below. And now once you've reached your motherboard's BIOS, things might seem a bit confusing. What you need to do is Google your motherboard's manufacturer's name, so Asus, Gigabyte, whoever, followed by your motherboard's model number or version. In my case, a Gigabyte Z790, but of course yours will be whatever it is. Follow that search term with Secure Boot and you should find a step-by-step -step guide to enabling it. Usually you'll have to either navigate through the menus using your arrow keys, enter, or even your mouse, and you'll be locating the secure 
secure boot option. Change it from off or disabled to on or enabled. Once you do so, you might get a pop-up about security keys. Just click OK or Yes, and once it's successfully enabled, you're able to save and exit and reboot into Windows. When you do so, congratulations, Battlefield 6 should be working. But if you followed my previous steps where we converted our drive from MBR to GPT, then don't save and exit quite just yet. What you need to do inside of the same motherboard BIOS screen or configuration, you'll need to find boot mode and change it from legacy to UEFI. Once again, you might need to Google your motherboard's manufacturer's name and of course the version or model number followed by UEFI or enable UEFI to find whatever setting we're looking for. Usually it'll just be boot mode and you'll change it from legacy to UEFI or you might need to search for something called CSM or the compatibility support module and make sure that's disabled. It accomplishes plus minus the same thing. Once you've done so and you've enabled Secure Boot, you're able to restart and get back into Windows. If you just converted your drive to GPT, you save and exited without enabling this UEFI mode, then you might not be able to boot into Windows at all. If that's you, don't worry, just restart your PC, go back to the motherboard settings screen, and enable UEFI as mentioned previously, or of course Google it. Regardless, you should now be able to get back to Windows, sign in, open up Steam, EA or whatever you're playing it on, and get straight to gaming in Battlefield 6. But yeah, that's really it. Hopefully you found this video useful, thank you all for watching, mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.